Virgo, my loves, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Yes, yes, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all, okay? Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. In advance, I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. The energy has no gender, but you will hear me use the terms he, she, they, them, heifer. You never know. Take it how it applies, okay? Uh, Virgo, a couple of things coming into your energy. Um, one is I saw I wanted to I knew I wanted to pull an animal spirit, first of all. And uh, what I saw in, uh, was the bear, but you pulled a bat. Now, the bear speaks about plan, plot and strategizing, you know, preparing, uh, thinking things through, meditating, having a plan of action, you know, in play because the bear has to consistently prepare for what's to come, which is the winner, okay? Also, uh, um, I felt like somebody had trouble with their fingers and that they're uh, tossing it up to author and it's not author. It's actually the way you're holding something, you know, a phone, the car wheel, the remote, a crochet needle, I saw all of those. So I think it's a few of you. And you're saying, oh, it's just author, you know, you're going like this, everything's fine. And it's not that. It's something that you're doing that's messing with, like, your joints or that's making them stiff or what have you. So it might be, you might be right about author creeping in, but I'm just saying that this is something that you don't have to just grin and bear if you change the way that you're holding something switch hands, move and have some motion, you know. Okay. Uh, the bat is what you pulled. A rebirth is assured. Uh, we've been talking about your rebirth energy for quite some time. For um, some reason, your rebirth is taking, uh, like your birth canal seems to be extremely long. I know that that's un uncomfortable, for a lot of you, we've been talking about that as well. Um, and I think that you're still going through it. And some of you are just now coming out or you're at the, like the precipice of the exit, the circle of the exit. Um, believing yourself is at the bottom of the def, uh, deck, the squirrel, number five here, number 57. I'm still seeing these fingers, guys. I'm telling you, they're red and swollen. And I just really want you to know that you can ease your own pain by changing some activity that you're doing. I just really want to stress that. Um, and I know you're nervous about seeing the doctor because of what's been going on. You don't feel that it's an emergency enough to risk, you know, what's going on. And, you know, you can really ease your own pain. Um, okay. Okay. This birth canal, this rebirth, uh, this awakening. You know, the bat hangs upside down, but it's still awakened. You see the third eye um, glamoured. Um, we all know about your abilities. We know that your abilities are heightening these days. Um, and those of you that um, are not yet in tune with your abilities, you know that your intuition is heightening, just period. You're, that sixth sense, that spidey sense is really kicking in, okay, in your life. Um, and you smell it, especially trouble, especially trouble. You smell it a mile away, like you can always know, no, I'm not going today, or no, you know, you, you're avoiding certain people like intentionally because your spidey senses are telling you to do so. I think that uh, financially things are coming together. I think that 
Yeah, I think financially things are stabilizing. Let me say it like that. It's stabilizing. Um, I don't think your overpour of abundance is coming in as of yet, but I, I at least feel that you're stabilizing. I feel that you're working and you know that you're working, you know, um, towards something wonderful. You know that something wonderful is coming for you. It's just not time yet. But in the meantime, you're not as uncomfortable as you were before. Okay. Um, Virgo energy, please. We're going to put some cards down with the dreams of Gaia. Virgo energy, please. Virgo, center energy, please. Virgo, center energy, please. Mm. A lot of closed off energy, guys. Don't shut down on me. And I think that's just how you're handling. See? And I hit the floor. I don't read from the floor. Um, I think that's how you're handling things. You're just really closing off. I can literally see you going right back into the shell. There you go. Yeah. Trying to regain control. Trying to... Ooh. Stabilize. Trying to... You're trying to put your plan of action into play, but you're doing it by control. You know, I have to get control of my life. I have to get control of these things. I have to, I have to, I have to. Synchronicities are extremely um, relevant right now for you. You're noticing everything, all the numbers and signs and, hmm. And you're smelling food that reminds you of someone. Crown the energy for Virgo, please. Yeah, it smells like, I don't know. Mm. It definitely smells like love, I'll tell you that. Crown the energy for Virgo. That's a four of air on the table, by the way. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But it's very structured, very controlled. Thank you so much, the Seneschal. Now, Seneschal in this deck is a uh, Knight of Pentacle energy in traditional tarot. You know, uh, the Knight for me is a turtle with hemorrhoids because that's how slow the energy is, but it's true to form. And it's so true and loyal in this, this deck. You see the dog here, a loyal friend, a loyal companion, a loyal... Um, uh, ancestor or angel watching over you that is helping you, I believe, unlock. Normally, Seneschal energy gives me uh, best friend vibes or attorney vibes, like a confidant, somebody you disclose to. But this feels like an unlocking energy. It feels like somebody is helping you um, unlock your true potential, number one. And also... Um, like broaden your scope because right now you have tunnel vision on what you want and how you're going to get it. And I think that your angels and ancestors are trying to help you see um, our, an alternative view or a broader horizon. Let me say it like that. What's undermining the energy? Thank you. Self-care, self-love, and um, patience. Uh, ten of air here. Um, in this deck, the ten of swords, traditional tarot, you see somebody laying down with the swords in their back. In this deck, this person is standing, the knives have been removed, and they're awaiting further instructions patiently with a, a open heart, with a glad heart. And I think that impatience is working against you right now. I think that um, this is this control thing. You're in a control thing right now, like an energy, uh, you know, I got to do what I got to do. And that's just where you are in that energy. It's almost as if like you're, it's making it more difficult to, for you to receive your, um, downloads and it's making it more difficult for you to trust in divine timing. Uh, what brought this on please for Virgo? Thank you. Page of air. 
reverse body over mind um I stand by my original assessment, especially with this Ten of Air. You know, the Page of Swords energy can be message. It can be information. It can be a text, a phone call. It could be stalking, watching, creeping, you know, all of those things. Uh, how it feels to me right now is that you, in the past, for whatever reason, have closed off. Yeah, I want to say that you closed off your optimism and started really focusing on what was on the table and you got tunnel vision with it if that makes sense um yeah you got tunnel with it's this heavy emphasis on that tunnel vision tunnel vision uh future energy where is this going the chrome Ooh, that's major arcana for this deck Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, seven of air. You're going to school. You're going to really learn how to be in control without blocking uh, your blessing. And, and I'm going to say that again. You're getting ready to learn how to be in control, maintain control, but without blocking your blessing. The crone energy is fearless and um, also willing to try, willing to explore. Um, the crone stays on ready, because I'm not telling you to let your guard down. I'm not telling you that. The crone is ready, but if you're on guard, let's say, Mm, from the pool, you know, you you don't you don't know how deep it is. So you stay out of the pool. You understand? That's your way of handling it right now. You're staying away from whatever, okay? And you're coming, you're going to get an energy of being fearless because you enjoy the pool, you enjoy the swim, you enjoy the coolness, you enjoy the calm of the water. Whatever, you know, the, it is that of you that you're the divine is calling for you to explore. Um, that is for you. And I think it has a lot to do with your awakening and this rebirth, because as you can see, the child in the background in the woods with the crone, you know what I mean? Um, this could be ancestral um, energy, your spirit guides really looking out for you because right now your path is still so, so, so very new. And um you feel that you're in uncharted territory. Let me say it like that. It feels like very uncharted territory. But with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, I think that you're going to know, you're going to learn what it is that you need to know. With this process of rebirth, you're going to have to continue to believe in yourself, not with doubt, but with assurance, if that makes sense. When somebody, you know, I know I can, I know I can, protect myself because I'm not going in a pool. That way I can't drown. You understand what I'm saying? Then you're believing in yourself through uh, withdrawal and fear, not with assurance. Remember the bat read that the rebirth is assured. Okay. It's definitely happening. It's definitely happening, but I think you're prolonging your time in the birth canal um, because you're gravitating towards this need for control because you just want to get it right. And I can understand that. But you have to trust in the divine. I want to start with this page, please. Uh, page of air energy reverse. Thank you. And there's a page of cups and a nine of swords. All right, for some of you, this may be a love issue. You know, worried about new love, worried about rekindling old love. You know, is it real? Is it fake? To be honest, it feels extremely foolish to me, but... Excuse me. Um, yeah. You know, page um, energy is, is, is um, not dependable. Because it's immature, you know, and sometimes it's immature by age, sometimes it's immature by experience, but immature nonetheless. 
kind of like with a child, if you say, you know, do you want this? They'll say, yeah. And then it's up. They change their mind. No, I want that. Oh, no, I want that. Oh, no, I want that. They, they, It's not dependable. And you've gone through this before um, with whoever this page is to you. Uh, somebody that has just not been dependable. They go back and forth, back and forth, and you're really tired of it. So I think that you're really just at a point where you're trying to buckle down and block, to be honest. With that energy, I don't blame you, but I don't think you have to do that with your entire life, with your entire uh, interactions with everyone. Let me get one on the page, one on the page. Yeah, lovers and six of wands here. Wow. So they coming back strong. Virgo, I love you so much. You are my twin. You are my person. You are better than all the rest. I know we've been through hard times, but look how far we've made it. Well, you know, we made it through. We can make this happen. They coming in and they coming in strong, okay? With a whole lot of, whole lot of, the problem is, is that they're talking bigger than they appear. If this was a king or the emperor saying these things, I say Virgo, I would take a chance. But because it's a page saying these things, this can change at any time. And you've seen it change before. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, current energy, four of air for Virgo. Thank you so much. And here's a page of pentacles and a five of swords. You know, is it serious? Are they playing games? Is it for real this time? They may have come in with a token of love, uh, you know, a token, a gift, some type of proof that this is real, you know, some proof that you are the one. I just don't like that it's appearing as a page energy. I, I just feel that this person is, maybe they're just emotionally immature. Maybe they haven't had the type of commitment that you are willing to give them, that you have given them in the past, and they keep running away from that. But it seems more so that this energy really likes to have control over you, to be honest. Um, it seems that they play mind games whenever you are thinking too freely, just to make sure that they're in those thoughts if that makes sense. You know what I mean? That's how it feels to me. Uh, tell me about the Seneschal. Crowning energy. Knight of Pentacles. Thank you. And there's a Nine of Cups here. Reverse. I don't think your angels, spirit guides, or family like this individual. They don't like this union. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I, if I'm not mistaken, a few readings ago, we talked about that too. Tell me more. Seneschal energy, please. Seneschal energy, please. Thank you. Three of Cups. They could have had you in a third party situation. They could have partied too much. Uh, tell me more. I definitely don't think that your friends, family, or anything. Knight of Wands, reverse. They could have ghosted you. But you know these things. It's almost as if for whatever reason, I feel like your angels, ancestors, even in your dreams, like you're being reminded of really hurtful times. And that's making you clench, like really hold on to yourself because you're definitely not dealing with this foolishness anymore. And you want to get away from it. You want to break free from it. But you have to know that running is not handling something. Um, Divine wants you to know that you are... Uh, fearless and powerful and uh, a force to be reckoned with. And um, divine timing is at play with you independently, okay? Independently, divine timing is at play. And you need to trust in that. Trust that your yesterday does not Your yesterday doesn't control your tomorrow. Like, you know, it's gone. You've made it through. But you should be able to stand. You should be able to at least feel empowered enough to stand. And for whatever reason, you're not pulling down from that strength that divine is trying to give you. Uh, talk to me about the Ten of Air. Why is it undermining Virgo? Ten of Air, please. Why is it? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Reverse. Reverse. 
See, I don't have time. I don't want to play. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. I'm over it. Tell me more. King of Pentacles could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Could be finances. Uh, somebody took your finances, I'm hearing. Mm, uh, yeah. Like they were, they took on a lot of the bills and then left you with the bills kind of thing. Tell me more. And there's the tower. Scorpion energy. It was, it, you know, this breakdown is not supposed to break you. I'm going to tell you that. This breakdown is not here to break you. It's for you to build on a firm foundation as opposed to a faulty and foolish foundation. This breakdown is not to break you. It's put in place um, so that you don't waste your time, energy, effort, years, and tears anymore. Tell me about... Thank you. Okay. And there's the sun and the three of pentacles. You needed to see what was being done behind your back. You needed to see the things that was in play. You needed to see whatever third party was, was going on. You needed to see uh, what was going on at your job. You needed to see these things. Leo energy here with the sun. But I feel that more than uh, whimsical, happy joy that the sun brings, it's, it brings you illumination more than anything. You are enlightened. And for whatever reason, you're looking at this as if the truth is hurting more than the lie, if that makes sense. The truth is hurting more than the lie, almost as if you were more comfortable in the lie or in the unknown or in the assumptions of things. But now that you have confirmation, you're carrying the confirmation as if it's a weight and the confirmation was supposed to free you. It wasn't supposed to bog you down. You understand? Tell me about the chrome. And here's the moon. See, spiritual cleansing, um, scorpion, Piscean energy. Um, you don't see, you don't know how much assistance you're going to be getting or getting right now how much of a connect you have a direct connect to your angels and ancestors that are going to be teaching you tell me more crone energy future energy for virgo king of wands um a fire sign aries leo sage the King of Wands is forward thinking. The the King of Wands is um, very confident energy. It's an energy of uh, focus, will, drive, determination, passion. Um, the King of Wands is very independent, the King and the Queen, to be honest. They have uh, all the characteristics of someone who is marriage material, but they only make themselves by choice period. They have no problem with running their kingdom alone. And I think Virgo, this is what um, divine is trying to give you your sense of independence and take away that codependent um, energy that it seems that you've been feeding off of for so, so, so very long. But I do like the fact that the king is looking towards number one, uh, the teaching energy of this hierophant with the seven of air and also looking towards the future. Tell me more about the king energy. And the hangman reverse so that you can get off the damn pole, release yourself from the ties that were binding you and get moving into your destiny, into your path and your purpose. OK, I love where this went. Knight of Cups and you may have new love coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Cancer Pisces Scorpio after you leave this foolishness behind Six of Swords because it left you, you know, feeling a humdrum with that five of pentacles but with the nine of pentacles you'll learn that independent energy is not a bad thing it's abundant it's intuitive it's strong this nine of pentacles energy is being in a place where it's saying you know god not when but god i'm ready when you are you understand? I'm going to wait with a glad heart because I know in the mean and in between time, you're still taking care of me, but your mind is playing tricks on you. 
your mind is playing tricks on you. Believe me, my loves, it's all in your mind that your time is running out. It's in your mind that you don't have enough, that you can't do enough, that you don't know enough. It's all in your mind. But it seems that divine is going to quickly, with this chariot cancerian energy, quickly move you towards a direction where you're going to be at a crossroads because one of God's first gifts to us is free will. OK, and you're going to make a choice uh, to either rebalance and um, move forward into your new beginning with this boomstick. Ooh, and you know how I love a boomstick, especially coming out with justice, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> That makes it all right on all sides of the coin. You understand what I'm saying? Love that. Right into, yeah, yeah, right into your happiness, your bliss, your love. Or are you going to get caught up in the illusion of what should be or what you thought should have been? Maybe culturally you were tied to someone or religiously you were tied to something, you know, but heavy, heavy emphasis on whatever you believed uh, for you, your spiritual awakening is showing you something different. And it's something that you need to cut uh, the allegiance or tie to um, because it's holding you back from the balance that you really seek to have the understanding that you seek to have that divine is trying to give you but instead unfortunately you find yourself in toilet paper torture with this eight of swords but you will be gifted with an on uh, something tangible okay to confirm your placement as well as um an emotional confirmation all right yeah, I think you're going to get it all. And then you'll be able to see what your true uh, path really lies before you, what your true match is, what a true healthy relationship is, um, not just for you, but from you. You understand what I'm saying? And boom, there's your wish fulfillment. Okay, there's your healing. There's your balance with this Aquarian energy, which completes your cycle. So you'll bring a, begin a brand new cycle in love and the love of life. I love where that went. I like where this is going. I know it's uncomfortable right now, but just stay 10 toes down. You know what I'm saying? And do diligent in your path and trust that God is working with, for you and around you at all times. Okay. You do have a situation in the past that I feel that you've uh, already separated yourself from that I think is playing with your mind, to be honest with you, but it's going to be up to you to find a way to occupy your mind time, your, your time, you know, so that you don't dwell in the abyss of an idle mind because the, the enemy is using it as a playground and you're only really, you know, torturing yourself because everything at play here looks, looks perfect. It looks, um, like it's really, uh, falling into place. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to gather the strength to see and, and pull from that so that you can move forward. Okay. With a glad heart, with a glad heart. All right, Virgo, I enjoyed this. I hope this helps. Uh, don't forget thumbs up for the information and support the channel, please. If any uh, event that none of this resonated for you, it's okay. Check your moon and rising signs, but don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.